Welcome to day three of my poetry challenge. I'm switching it up a little bit today by sending my animated alter ego in, partly because I'm having maintenance work done on my kitchen sink today. She's been acting up, but also because I'm tired of filming. Turns out the haters were right. Daily vlogging is hard, but we're pushing through and I'm so excited to share today's feature. Today's featured collection is A Fortune for Your Disaster by Hanif Abdurraqib. Hanif is hands down my absolute favorite poet. And that's saying a lot because I really do love everyone I'm featuring this month. But I encountered Hanif during my first semester in the MFA when I was suffering from imposter syndrome and living alone for the first time, unsure of my place in the poetry world. My program will host conferences with visiting poets, generally really, really great and really generative. I mentioned my conference with Patricia Smith yesterday, and that was amazing. But sometimes you have a visiting poet who isn't so amazing. And during my first semester, I had one such conference where the visiting poet basically told me that I should write more poems about growing up in Pakistan, because that's what sets me apart. And that's where the money is. First of all, there's no such thing as money in poetry, unless you're Rupi Carr. But also, I moved to the United States as a toddler, I have no memory of Pakistan, but that conversation left me spiraling and feeling like even more of an imposter. Thankfully, we were also reading Hanif Abdurraqib at the time, and I'm obviously not a black man in Ohio, but I found so much comfort in reading about the life of a Muslim poet in America. I couldn't love his work more. I mean, I guess I could love it as much as my roommate did. She took a bite out of my only copy. But I also love that Hanif's work led me to discovering so many other Muslim poets. I got to hear a bunch of them. They're called T. Mashallah, read in person at AWP in Portland in 2019. It was incredibly crowded, really hard to get in, especially because I went straight from the airport and had my luggage with me. But when Hanif read, it was entirely silent. And when he finished his poem, the poem I'm about to read to you because it ties into my prompt, there was thunderous applause. Hanif is great at writing poems, but he's also an incredible instructor. And this poem is an Ars Poetica poem. If you're unfamiliar with that term, an ars poetica is basically just a poem that is about the act of writing poetry itself. This is The Prestige. The poem begins not where the knife enters, but where the blade twists. Some wounds cannot be hushed, no matter the way one writes of blood and what reflection arrives in its pooling. The poem begins with pain as a mirror, inside of which I adjust a tie, the way my father taught me before my first funeral. And so the poem begins with old grief again at my neck. On the radio, a singer born in a place where children watch the sky for bombs is trying to sell me on love as something akin to war. I have no lie to offer as treacherous as this one. I was most like the bullet when I viewed the body as a door. I'm past that now. No one will bury their kin when desire becomes a fugitive between us. There will be no folded flag at the doorstep. A person only gets to be called a widow once, and then they are simply lonely. The bluest period. Gratitude. Not for love itself, but for the way it can end without a house on fire. This is how I plan to leave next. Unceremonious as birth in a country overrun by the ungrateful living. The poem begins with a chain of well-meaning liars walking one by one off the earth's edge. That's who died and made me king. Who died and made you. Today's prompt. Hanif writes, the poem begins not where the knife enters, but where the blade twists. Write a poem that zeroes in on where the blade twists, whatever that means for you personally. Today, we're going to make a cheese plate. Bear with me here. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you gained something from this video. I'm not going to do a taste test for obvious reasons. I will be back to my regularly scheduled content tomorrow. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow.